today's topic is about word frequency, частотность. And alongment is great because uh, it gives you a visual representation of frequency. It has a three star, two star, and one star system, or three dots, <laughs> two dots, one dot system. Uh, so the, the word suggest, for example, has three stars. That means that it's very, very frequently used. It has a synonym, propose. And if you look at the word propose, the word propose is less frequently used. It only has two stars. Uh, if you look at the word veto, for example, it only has one star. And some words don't have stars at all. That means they are not very frequently used. So uh, frequency is also measured with the help of these small boxes, S1, W1. What does it mean? S1 means that this word is included in 1,000 spoken words. So it's very, very frequent. It's really worth learning because you will definitely need it or you will hear it very often. Uh, W1 means uh, top uh, 1,000 written words. So speaking, writing. If you look at the word propose, which is less frequently used, but still used, it's included in uh, 2,000 written words. Uh, two means 2,000, and W written. And it's also a little bit formal, so it's uh, used more narrowly. So if you look up a word in a dictionary and uh, see that it has some stars or dots, something like this, that means it's definitely worth learning. You should pay attention to it. You should try to remember it. If it doesn't have any stars, it's not the top word, okay? So these uh, stars really help you um, prioritize your words, prioritize the vocabulary. 